the uh, security patches are out for Pixel devices. Uh, the phones were available yesterday, the November security patch. The, uh, the, for the phones were uh, made available yesterday. And today, the Pixel Watch 2 got uh, its November security patch. Now, this morning there was a little confusion because uh, we were assuming that it was for both the Wi-Fi and LTE variants. However, it looks like um, at the moment, and it is basically 5 o'clock, uh, or it's, excuse me, it's 4.30 Central Standard Time on Tuesday afternoon. It looks like just the LTE variant, uh, the data variant of the... LTE variant of the Pixel Watch 2 is only available for the November security patch. The November security patch for a Pixel Watch 2 Wi-Fi models, uh, Google just said, is on its way and will be available basically at any moment. So if you got the LTE version of the Pixel Watch 2, go ahead and download that, or it is available to download if you want to. And uh, if you're watching this, the Wi-Fi uh, variant for Pixel Watch 2 November security patch update should be available. So if you do have a Pixel Watch 2, please go check your watch and see if there's an available update. And um, as far as the... Uh, it seems like there's a bunch of bug fixes. There was not an official... Normally, whenever Google releases an update, I'll always just, you know search through the um, bug fixes, improvements, features that they added. This time, <laughs> there were none. So, uh, but uh, I have got a couple sources I found online before I hit record that said um, it is improvements on the sensors, which is good news because uh, I don't wear Android uh, Wear watches but uh, my wife does have a Pixel Watch 2 Wi-Fi model. She got free with one of our Pixel devices that we ordered, Pixel 8 Pro. She's been having issues with one or two of the sensors while performing a workout. I think it's two specific workouts. It doesn't, it, the readings are off or it doesn't work it's, or it's intermittent, right? So this update, if you're experiencing any um, weirdness any uh, of your workouts not being properly uh, tracked or and or the data is not syncing up properly through one of your workouts or your heart rate is not is not correct this update from what i understand should improve upon and make those sensors work more seamlessly uh, uh, in as far as the, the readings on your uh, how it tracks your health um, I do give, I do give Google the benefit of the doubt because they all, I say always, but they traditionally always make their products, traditionally, <laughs> always improve on their products. Now, the sensors that they put in the, uh, the OG, the original Pixel Watch, last year's Pixel Watch 1, the, sen the hardware, the sensors they had underneath the watch that uh, um, tracks your blood pressure and stuff like that, those were like two-year-old sensors. I think they had put those or another uh, manufacturer had used those sensors um, in their products as well. However, on this Pixel Watch 2, these are brand new sensors. Google's never used them in the past or any other company has used them in the past. So it may take a few months uh, uh, hopefully it's fixed after today, but it might take a, uh, an update or two to tweak those sensors and get them performing just right. So if you do have a Pixel Watch 2, check for an update. If you do have a Pixel phone, please check for an update. Now, uh, I'm running beta. I'm running beta on my Pixel 8 Pro. Um, and I was interested to see if we were going to get a security patch. Um, because in the past... Google uh, recently in the past few months have been changing their beta program and how you get security patches. In the past, you would always get a security patch, even if you were running beta or not. In fact, let me see what I'm running right now so I don't keep you too long as far as what, what security patch I'm on. 
Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm on October's security patch. This may be uh, reverse, like you may not be able to read it. Yeah. But it does say, there we go. It does say October 5th, if you can read it right in the middle there. So for for Pixel users that are on the beta program, hang tight. They normally do push out a security patch for beta users. It's just normally you know a few days behind when everybody else gets it. They still have to tweak some things for the... Because if you're running beta software, you're using software that's intended to be uh, used in the future. So with that, they have to tweak some things here and there. But have no worries. Your If you're running beta software, your security patch update uh, for, for the month of November should be right around the corner. So I just wanted to put this out. Let everybody know what's going on. I was going to do a video today on how my Pixel is running on the beta software. I got I got a ton of stuff to do today and just did not get around to it. I do apologize about that. Uh, I'm going to upload two videos tomorrow. I'm going to upload how my Pixel is doing on the beta software because I just in, in, enrolled it uh, a few days ago. So we can give it some time, see what the battery life is like, see if there's any bugs. Um, um, so actually, it, it may work out fine. It gives me an extra day to test things if I do it if I record tomorrow. And um, the other video I'm going to put out is the uh, oh the Nothing Phone Two. My God, <laughs> how could I forget? Uh, lots of testing on that. So because it's like getting a whole new device. Even though we've had I had the original device, not the Phone One. I'm talking about when the Phone Two first came out. We got it. Uh, very first um, week it came out we got one wasn't so happy with it I'm not going to go through the story I returned it but what my point is this is like a whole new device because it's it, it appears that they fixed a lot of things with a lot of software updates and um, now I'm having to go back and retest everything uh, <laughs> that I originally did four months ago because it looks like they improved a lot of stuff so I'm going back, testing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to have to do all new camera uh, uh, sample testing. Um, the one I really wanted to put out tomorrow because it's gotten one of, it's one of our most viewed videos on this eSIM Studios channel is the external microphone. Uh, it did not work an external mic uh, or a mic plugged in. Uh, so either a wireless or a wired microphone right uh did not work with the pic with the uh, phone too uh, when it just came out and that was one of the things the things i was testing today so um i know a lot of people are interested in that again it's one of our most viewed videos on on the channel so uh along with camera samples because that was one of my big deals the phone too that i originally got sucked with photos um so i'm gonna put out wire i'm gonna put out a microphone test tomorrow and uh we will finish up oh and that's the thing i'm not taking it out of the house i still don't have a case for it amazon's supposed to deliver they were supposed to deliver me a case two days ago long story short couldn't get it to me something happened in delivery ordered another case supposed to be here tonight so i would have been already had the phone out of the house doing testing walking around checking a mic front cameras you know outside testing stuff walking around the neighborhood I haven't been able to take it out of the house um, so I should have a case tonight. We'll do a case review. I believe it's the Tudia. Uh, looks really cool. So we'll do a case review. Probably put that out tomorrow. And I'll do the microphone test uh, tomorrow on the Nothing Phone 2. And then uh, what's tomorrow? Wednesday. And then probably Thursday I'll do a camera uh, sample and or video sample uh, test with the Phone 2. So lots of testing going on here, and I have more case reviews for the Pixel 8 Pro. And like, but don't forget, I'm going to give you an update on how this is with the in the beta program. And uh, there's a couple of other things that I was thinking of that just uh, I can't think of at the moment. But we have a long list of uh, videos to uh, to record and upload. So I do appreciate everyone, every single subscriber. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. It's very humbling. Uh, I try to do my best. I just try to be honest, right? Like, uh, I'm not trying to do some super cool, you know, I try my best as far as like graphics and how I shoot the videos and this, but as you can tell, I'm holding the phone right now in my hand. 
talking to you like normal. So I'm not trying to do some over the top production over here where I'm like MK DHV or whatever his name is. Not trying to do some super production team. There is no team. It's just me over here. So, uh, but the number one thing I want to uh, uh, give to my subscribers and v and or viewers is honesty. I'm giving my honest opinion, right? I keep on saying it. If something sucks, I'm going to tell you. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. Um, yeah, so thank you for viewing. Uh, I uploaded one video today, and uh, we will. Uh, please stay tuned because I have a ton of stuff on the way. Uh, and look out for that Pixel update. Peace out.